Hey everybody, my name's Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to Bridgewater. Let's check out this model. So, this one right here, I'm about to film the model. I just had a client who's actually very, very interested in this particular film or uh, home and I wanted to film it for him. But this one is the Versace. It's 3,072 square feet. Standard is five bedroom. You get the balcony. You can do an optional second master, which this one has. You can do a second balcony as well on the back. Now, this one starts at 401,500. So just a little over 400,000. This one fell out of escrow. This is now considered what we call standing inventory. It's already been specced. The builder wants to get rid of it. This one, as it sits, give me one second, just to make sure I get the number right. This home is $447,635. So the previous buyer put about $45,000 worth of options and upgrades into it. It's a three-story home. Now, if you have any questions about this one, any new builds, anything in particular, give me a call. All of my info is down in the description below. As always, if you are new, make sure to subscribe because I put out videos just about every single day and do me that huge, huge favor and hit that like button because it really does help out with the YouTube algorithm. Now let's come on inside. And what I tell people all the time when looking at new homes, do yourself a favor and call a realtor. Don't fill out information online. Don't go into the models, talk to the sales associates because if you do, the builder will not let you be represented. And that means that the sales associate will represent you. Well, they will help you out. They don't represent you. They have their fiduciary responsibility to the builder. If you have questions about that, all of my info is down in the description below. I had a bunch of people reach out to me lately and ask me about that. So this is technically the first level. You kind of, you go up front door and then you go back down. So three story house. Now here is the optional second master. I believe the standard one would have a huge, huge downstairs loft. Works me up. I guess you call this loft or living room. I don't know if there's a bedroom over there. Again, this is the first one I'm seeing. I know they do have this home modeled. I don't believe it has the optional master, but what you get right here is your pre-wire cap for a ceiling fan and or light or chandelier. You get the sliders. The backyard, I believe it's 25 feet to that wall. And I'm really glad we're seeing this because people are always asking me, what does it mean when you're buying new with the backyard not done? When you buy new, this is how your backyard will be delivered. It is literally dirt and is up to the build or up to the buyer to finish it in their liking. You could easily finish, uh, put a pool in here. Now a pool will cost you anywhere between no pool or no spa would probably be about 35,000. A pool with spa, minimum 40, probably closer to $50,000 on average. Backyard cost anywhere between 15 and depending on how crazy you go, a, a good price would be 15,000 to $20,000. So keep that in mind when you're buying new. Now, it's a little dark in here just because they don't have the lamps in here. Again, you have the pre-wire cap for lighting, but let's check out the second optional master. So like I said before, this is an option. This is a almost $14,000 option to add the second master. So it's a good size room. It's probably 11 by, maybe it's probably 12 by 13. Again, it's harder to judge when you don't have any furniture in here. Big, big window. I would love to see a slider right here. I don't think that's an option, but it is a big room. It may even be 12 by 14. It's big. You get the French doors right there. Now this has upgraded flooring. There's a lot of upgrades throughout this house. Again, they added about $45,000 worth of options and upgrades. So you have, now this just became a standard cabinet about a couple months ago. This is a standard quartz or uh, stone that they offer. This is interesting. Your medicine cabinets right there. 
Usually I put it over here. It's kind of cool because you can actually look at yourself in the med medicine cabinet. But again, pretty nice. Undermounted sinks. I'll point out some of the options they did. Again, in here, flooring. Now, let me turn on the, that light real quick. I just don't want to hit the fan. So, this is the standard shower actually, which is really cool, the fact that you get stone in here. It's not a fiberglass composite material. You can see right there is your shower head. As always, the one complaint I have with these is I wish they would put a soap niche here or here or somewhere because you're gonna have to get like the shower tree, shower caddy in order to hold your soaps and shampoos. But the really nice fact is it is not fiberglass composite. It is actual stone. It's a man-made stone, but nonetheless, so they opted for the double shelf and bar. This is a good size closet, it's probably five by eight. But overall, not bad. And what's nice about this is you can almost turn this into a next gen. Just because there's this living space, there's that bedroom, there would be no kitchen in here, but you can have, if you have a parent, you can have them come in here just because right here is your side gate. You can have them walk around this way, or they can go up the stairs and back down if they can still do stairs and still have this whole downstairs area. So kind of a cool idea. There was another one I'll link above and down below. It's the community right next door. It's actually Fox Hills. Here's your laundry. Now this one will come with the washer and dryer. It's already in. I don't know if standard comes with it right here. We have part of the HVAC system, which is really nice that it's in here not having to go up in the attic and whatnot. You have your shelf. Before we get into the garage, you have more storage under the stairs. I'm kind of surprised that doesn't go all the way back because you can see where the stairs are right there. But nonetheless, not bad, you have extra storage. And just so you can see, here is your two car garage. They did option up for extra outlets. They have the extra outside lighting package and they did option for the tankless water heater. So, not bad indeed. Now, let's head on up. You know what, let's go all the way up and then we'll make our way back down. Again, if you have any questions, give me a call. All my information is down in the description below. I'd love to help you out in any way possible. And if you are new or if you've been seeing these videos, make sure to hit that like button and make sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss out because I am putting out at least seven videos a week. I'm trying to hit 10 a week. We'll see how that goes with the holidays and happy holidays to everyone. If you don't know, we just hit December. So December 1st. So before we head into that room, let's see this bedroom. So coming into the first bedroom, hmm, it's hard to tell how big this is. You do get a really nice window. I'm gonna say 10 by 10. So standard size bedroom. What's really cool about this specific home, the home next to you, the backyard's actually over here. No one's looking this way and it's only a two level. It's not a tri-level. So you don't really have anyone looking into your backyard. I believe they own this lot and will eventually be building, but for the time being, they're not building there. So you do have some nice views. Just gonna show you real quick what this room looks like. Again, I'm gonna guess 10 by 10. It's really difficult to judge, especially with no furniture in here. And you have your closet. Where's the light? So single bar and shelf, mm, just over four by four. So. Not bad for a secondary bedroom as far as closet space. Before we go in this room, and I'll tell you about this room, it's kind of interesting. Let's see. We have linens, and it does go behind just a bit. So you can see that. So, with this room, you can option to split, just real quick, so I'm gonna poke in there so you can see. I would love this bedroom because you get two rooms, but what you could do is you can option this as two separate bedrooms. This wall and this wall will come out. So there won't be a door here. There'd be a door here and a door here for two separate bedrooms. But this is standard. And look at this bedroom. Could you imagine being a kid 
and having all of this room for activities. So I'm gonna guess these are two 10 by 10 rooms. Again, they're smaller, so if you did option for two separate bedrooms. But how amazing would this be? I know my brother, he's a big gamer. Oh my goodness gracious. He would have Command Central on one side and his bedroom on the other. Pretty cool idea, big window. So this wall would extend out and you'd have, I don't know where it would be, probably a half closet on this side, half closet on this side, or two walk-ins. But pretty cool idea. And then here is the other side. So this would be the other bedroom again. It's gonna be about 10 by 10, maybe just a hair smaller right here because you have that bump out. Um, if you wanted to, you could turn this into part of the loft and that wall would be blown out and you would just have a bedroom on that side. But let me know down in the comments below. Would you like to have this room? Would you like to have just a single room over there with this area being the loft? Would you rather have two bedrooms? I'm very curious. I love reading everyone's comments. Comment down below. Do you like this idea for a secondary bedroom being this big? And it has a nice size closet actually. So again, that's probably four feet. If this whole part wasn't here, I'm guessing there's probably some ventilation for your HVAC in there. It would easily be six feet. So four by six, not including that. Interesting layout, kind of a cool room. Again, if you need an office space with your bedroom, I know so many people are working from home right now. That would be cool. So coming into this bathroom, again, upgraded flooring. Now, it's so funny because I know what people are gonna say, why isn't there a second sink? And I will tell you why. To add a second sink, it is about a $1,200 option. And even the sales associate kind of laughed and didn't understand why, but you get the single sink, standard cabinet, standard countertops. That is your standard tub shower combo and it is pretty nice. So that window does not open up, but it is a wider than standard tub. So, I mean, this bath bathroom is, I really, really like this bathroom. The only complaint, and I know everyone's gonna say the same thing, why isn't there a second sink? Now, again, 1200-ish dollar option. Other than that, that's pretty nice. And what's even cool about this is your toilet is actually hidden behind the door. I know a lot of people are gonna appreciate that, so when you're looking in, you don't see the toilet. Kind of a cool, neat design element. I, I like this bathroom. Again, I feel like I would need the $1,200 sink just because this is an option right here. I believe it's like a six or $700 option for the digital thermostat and all that good stuff. But it, let's come straight across. Here is the master bedroom and it's big. Um, it's really hard to judge. It's probably 15 feet by 12 feet, give or take two really, really big windows. What's cool is this community is completely built out on this side, so look at your mountain views. I mean, if you look that way, there's a lot of mountains up in this bedroom. Again, it's, it's large. Let's check out this master bath. So this would be, what would be the standard master? Downstairs is that second master. Again, same countertop, same cabinets as down below. Interesting that they only give you one medicine cabinet. I know a lot of people are gonna say something about that. You only get the one on this side, you don't get one behind me. Now, this is, everything you see in this shower is standard minus this second shower head. So standard would be all the stone, the bench, stone in the floor, you would get that shower head, but that shower head right there is about a thousand dollar option. I believe it's like $950. Other than that, I'm really impressed with the fact that you get stone. A lot of builders will give you the fiberglass composite, your toilet area, and your closet. Not bad, actually. There's even more over here. So they did an option for the, sh uh, the second barn shelf, but still, pretty big closet. If I didn't mention it, by the way, we are about, hmm, call it three and a half miles or so west of the, what would that be? The South Point Casino. So kind of in the 
south-ish west, the west side of town of the valley. I like this, this huge drop chandelier. So you can even see the door. You can kind of see into that living space. Kind of cool. A lot of glass right here. A lot of windows. Now, if you have any questions, make sure to give me a call. All my info is down in the description below. Make sure to hit that like button. And again, I have a lot of people reaching me out just asking simple questions. Why do you need a realtor on a new build? Do you, should you buy new? Should you buy resale? If you have any of those questions, again, give me a call, send me a text or shoot me an email. So, sorry for the echo. There's no furniture in here. So you do have two pre-wired caps in this room right there and right there. I bet most people will probably use this more as a formal dining and this more as a formal living. Again, I haven't been in the other actual model. They do have this home modeled. I just was filming it for a client who was interested in it. You do get right here, this is standard, the outdoor um, front balcony. They do have an option for bal back balcony. This one does not have it, but this would be a huge living room. And then you could do formal dining. You could put a little hutch back there. Kind of a cool layout. I'm liking this house more and more. Before we head into the kitchen, right here is your powder room. So pedestal sink, you have your toilet. Not bad, good size. Again, they optioned up with the paint, they optioned with the flooring, they optioned, there's quite a few options in this home. Again, about $45,000. You could do this area more as your family room, not so formal. Now, right here is where the door would go for the back balcony. If you decided to option that, I don't know how much that would be, but they do have an optional back balcony, which would provide covering for the first floor for a covered patio. But here is your kitchen. And again, they optioned up. Don't mind this refrigerator. Because of everything going on in the world right now, I believe it's Electrolux or a different fridge company that they will get right now, just the supply chain is backed up. So you will have a built-in fridge. It's gonna be stainless steel. It's basically gonna be two standard sized fridges. One will be a fridge, one will be a freezer. They just they don't have any in stock right now, but they will be putting one in in the near future. They're just throwing a loaner fridge in there right now. So don't mind that fridge because that is not what we'll have in this house. Again, with this builder, it's so funny. I would throw a wine fridge or something in there because there's so much space. And even in the models, you see they slide chairs under here. You almost don't even need a dining space. I would, you know what? Because a lot of times they throw a dining table like right here. I would do the formal dining. I would have my dining chairs right here and I would not use a breakfast nook. Because I, I'll be honest, I always eat at my island or sometimes on the couch if I'm really lazy. But I love the fact how they do their islands with such big overhangs and the fact that there's so much space here and here you could easily fit, I mean, eight, or eight chairs at this island. So again, like I said, you will get a stainless steel double. It'll be fridge, freezer. They're gonna be large. I'll link to it when I film the actual model so you can see it. But I'm just gonna pan real quick. They did the 42 inch uppers. I don't know what color code this is. This is one of the newer standard cabinets. This is a standard granite. I know this is gonna make so many people happy right here. The sink is in or not in the island and it's right in front of the window. I know a lot of people like that. You can literally look right back down here and see if you put a pool back there, you can see everyone in the pool. You can see what's going on. Stainless steel dishwasher. They do have a phone jack. I know that's important to a couple people who watch the channel. I'm just gonna pan around. Stainless steel oven. I know some people will wish that had a double oven. I feel like they could have done a double oven right here, but this is what you get. This is not standard as far as the appliance package. They opted for the stainless steel package with that big, big fridge. I believe it was like a $5,000 package. Five burner cooked up with the griddle. And what's cool again is there's no one looking in right here. I know that's a little window. I think that's the laundry room actually. One thing to note, 
since it's in front of the window, there's no vent up here. This is a downdraft um, cooktop. So when you turn the fan, it actually sucks all of the fumes down and out. So something to keep in mind, you have your microwave little cubby and wow, really nice size pantry. That's big. You can even go higher. I feel like you can even add a little bit more over here, but that's a big, big pantry. So let me know what you think about this one down below. Again, don't mind this fridge, it's a loner. They're gonna be putting in the really nice stainless steel. Again, $5,000 package. Let me know what you think about this one. I do read all the comments. I'm trying to catch up. Some of you guys are hilarious with what you write. If you have ideas on how to make the channel better, please, please definitely drop them below because I want to make this the best possible tours out here in Las Vegas and Henderson. If you have questions, give me a call, send me a text, shoot me an email. Even as simple as how's the market doing out here. Love to help you out. Again, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell if you want to know when new videos are coming out. Let me know if you've stayed this far in the video. I'm thinking about doing another giveaway, maybe like the 12 days of Christmas or something. Let me know if you like that. Might be playing around with that idea. It is December 1st, so I am dating this video, but let me know what you think about that down below. Hit that like button. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.